Court premises and courtrooms have been under lock and key for the past two weeks as the Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria continues its industrial action to press home their demand for financial autonomy for the judiciary. Members of the union take to the streets of Jalingo, the capital of Taraba State, alongside members of the state chapters of the Nigeria Bar Association and Parliamentary Staff Association of Nigeria in their quest to ensure independence for the judiciary and the legislature. All court in Nigeria are shut down. Yes. yes. Simply because we want to tell the state government that the constitutional provision is very clear yes. on financial autonomy of the judiciary. The secretary to the Taraba state government arrives the scene to receive their protest letter. Let me quickly point out this. His Excellency cannot work on these documents in isolation of his colleagues because this matter it's a national issue. In Yobe State, parliamentary workers also joined the judiciary workers and the State Bar Association to demand for financial autonomy. The president of the federal government of Nigeria has already been signed the order 10 for the implementation of the autonomy. In Zamfara, the state chairman of Jusun laments the unavailability of the state governor or the deputy governor to receive their protest letter. Nevertheless, the union is insisting that their members should remain at home until they hear from the union. Uh, our demand is based on judicial financial autonomy by the virtue of section 121 subsection 3 and the judgment of that federal high court Abuja delivered by Justice Ademola Adeneji on 10th January 2014, as well as the executive order signed by the President Muhammadu Buhari, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which all the above mentioned is the channels that uh, ensured the, the payment of the financial autonomy to the judiciary of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As the workers and lawyers take to the streets, patrons of courts may have to wait a little longer as an end to the strike appears not to be in sight.